It was nice to finally see some sunshine here in southeast Minnesota and some portions of northeast Iowa. We've had some filtered cloud cover throughout the area so far this afternoon. And now as we move towards the evening, hey, we'll have some clearing skies tonight. Potentially late tonight, some clear skies as we move towards uh, early Wednesday morning. Some patchy drizzle will be possible mainly south of I-90 through the overnight hours tonight. Do not expecting uh, any accumulating rainfall through the overnight hours tonight. Tomorrow, windy conditions, a little breezy outside right now, but conditions tomorrow as a cold front moves through. Well, look at some of these wind speeds. We'll see sustained winds Wednesday at about 20 miles per hour. Wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per hour. Thursday, slightly calmer than 10 mile per hour winds with gusts reaching upwards of 20 miles per hour. Friday, though, completely calm. That's actually kind of a bad thing, though, because temperatures on Friday, especially Thursday night into Friday morning, dip all the way down into those maybe lower 30s. So our first chance for widespread frost in southeast Minnesota. As we look outside, we see some of that cloud cover. So we're dealing with some partly cloudy, almost overcast conditions. We're at 59 currently in the Med City. Winds out of the south southwest. We'll have to watch those winds because frontal boundary will move through tomorrow. They'll be out of the northwest. Dew points at 44. Since dew points are lower 40s, some of the spotty showers that we will see aren't making it all the way down to the ground. We continue to deal with those winds out of the southwest and we're anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour. There's some of those spotty showers uh, through even portions of Fillmore and Olmstead County just to the north of I-90, but they're not actually making it all the way down to the ground because, like I said, those dew points are only at 44. You need to be a little higher, closer to the actual air temperature for that rain to fall all the way down to the ground. We'll kind of deal with some patchy drizzle, but notice a little bit of clearing back to our west. It's indicating some clearer skies through the overnight hours tonight. So future track tonight. Winds continue to be out of the west southwest. Notice a little clearer by about 8 30, 9 o'clock tonight. Have some filtered cloud cover, a passing stray shower possible. That's why I still have drizzle in the forecast, but I do think we still see some clear skies tomorrow. We'll have some sunshine at times, a lot like what we experienced yesterday and even today, some filtered sunshine, and then we could see the very slight chance for a spotty shower, drizzly conditions again tomorrow. It will just depend on if we end up getting dew points into the upper 40s or if they stay lower 40s like they are today. Wind speeds continue to be out of the north or northwest, breezy for tomorrow, and again, once we move towards early Thursday morning, maybe a spotty shower, but we continue to have the cloud cover. So those rain chances Wednesday and Thursday, very isolated, about a 20 to 30% chance of rain. So we're looking at broken type of showers like we're experiencing some drizzly conditions. As we move towards Saturday, isolated showers possible, probably about a 30 to 40% chance uh, for some rain on Saturday. We're pretty dry and quiet Friday, Sunday and into early next week. Rest of the night tonight, we're at 46 for that overnight low. I do think we see some clear skies, but where we have the cloud cover, that's where we have enough moisture in the atmosphere to deal with some patchy drizzle late tonight. 60 for the high tomorrow, partly cloudy, breezy, winds upwards of about 30 miles per hour with some wind gusts for tomorrow afternoon. Seven day forecast, 52 for the high Thursday. That cold front moves through and really bumps our temperatures down. 52 Thursday, 49 for the high on Friday. Caitlin.